As you guys have already heard, Jeremy talked about us launching ARC, um, and I'm going to take a little bit of time to talk about why the vision and what you can expect to come out. At a very high level, and I'll define this for you, is that uh, ARC is building an open layer one blockchain purpose-built for stablecoins. It's a very loaded sentence, and we're going to take time to understand why we took this sentence and really break it down. But before even that, I want to I want to tell you a little bit about what motivated us to build this and and why we're so excited about it. So as we were working at Circle, uh, we realized that enterprise adoption, uh, particularly applications, large institutions, people that serve me, you, my mom, dad on a daily basis, in order to use blockchains, they really had a couple issues that they were really encountering. The main four issues we could identify were one, Volatile native currencies. This experience of holding a volatile currency on a balance sheet is very counterintuitive to most people, and including enterprises and businesses alike. Similarly, FX, which is very costly and complicated even in the real world, is even more costly and complicated in blockchain ecosystems right now. Third, enterprises and applications care a lot about finality. They don't want the risk of transactions moving, getting reordered, um, changing. They want to have deterministic finality. And lastly, privacy and confidentiality is a core requirement many of these folks need in order to start leveraging the rails uh, that we are building. To answer these problems, we decided to build ARC. ARC is the home for stablecoin finance. We're engineering this for enterprise adoption, and that doesn't mean that it excludes you. It means it's providing enterprises that serve you the opportunity to integrate Rails at the base layer. The core features that we're really implementing are parallel with the problems I told you about. So one, USDC will function as native gas. That means you don't have to hold another token in order to pay people one-to-one uh, -one ever. It's stable, it's, it's, it's there. Um, you just need to hold one currency at any given time. Second, there's a built-in FX engine. Um, so institution grade discovery process for swapping in and out of local stable coins and also other USD denominated stable coins. We don't envision this to be the USDC chain. We envision this to be the stable coin finance chain. Third, uh, which we're really excited about is Malachite uh, is, is an open source technology that offers state of the art tendermint consensus. And it's what that means is it's instantly final, aka when a transaction happens in less than one second, you're able to have a deterministic finality, aka a transaction is permanent. And fourth, this is very true to the art for me. I've been building in this privacy space for a long time on blockchains, and we're excited to really bring opt-in compliant privacy for institutions. So the vision here is that we're going to have mirroring of how the current financial system looks like, aka you're going to have selective privacy. Um, there are certain things that need to be public, certain things that need to go private, and we're building to mirror that dynamic by adding opt-in privacy at the fundamental layer. How do we think this is going to move the industry forward? We're crossing the chasm to get to mainstream adoption, and this is how it happens. There's trillions of dollars that are not yet on chain, which range from a variety of segments, as you can see here. And we believe ARC is the foundational layer to make that a home for a lot of the money that will move on chain. Some segments we're excited about include payouts, merchant services. Um, we believe this will be a phenomenal way to, to move payments across chain. It's it's designated, it's dollar specific, it has local stable coins as well. Um, but we, we want to target the long tail of use cases across all of finance. We're really trying to upgrade the internet financial system. And this is the layer for that. So this includes treasury management, borrowing and lending, trading and collateral, and digital dollar accounts, to mention only a few. I'm sure there's some of you in the room that have use cases that we haven't thought of that fit right perfectly into the bucket of stablecoin finance. And that's what we want you to build. That's what we want the world to build. And we want these primitives to be accessible not only to developed nations, but to people that have access to internet, which means most of the world, right? That's the vision of upgrading the financial system for everyone, not just a select few. What can you expect? Um, we announced ARC yesterday, but we're launching, we have a private test net that we are opening up to some select builders um, that's coming out in September. October is where we're targeting for public test net. This means that it's open for any application to build on and really use and play around with. We're particularly excited for this milestone. It's going to be the first time we'll see ARC in the wild. After that, we're aiming for a 2026 mainnet beta launch that will be the Genesis block and the beginning of the ARC journey. Uh, we hope many of you in the room take part with us on that as well. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about ARC. I don't want to take too much more of your time. We're super excited. Circle's excited. We hope you're excited. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah, find me after.